than the wonky star is this? If you're really there. Welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Edith. Make sure to subscribe to stay updated with all my Vlogmas vlogs. Now, if you know, you know. Edith here loves the color pink. More specifically, this pink right here. It's kind of like a blush pink. This ribbon is today's inspiration for our Christmas decorating. If you're up to date with my vlogs, you'd know that yesterday I posted my Christmas shopping video when I bought so many Christmas decorations. And of course, they were pink. Everything is pink this year. We're doing a pink Christmas for my bedroom and my whole studio apartment. But one thing that I am missing still is my sheets because I wanted to find some Christmas themed sheets, but I wasn't able to find them. And so I think we're just going to do pink, just like a solid pink because I wanted pink flannel, but I can't find them unfortunately. So we're just going to do pink. So that's the first thing on today's agenda. We need to go shop for those sheets for our bed so that we are, of course, on theme with the whole video. I am married. I don't have my ring on right now. Actually, where is it? I think I in the kitchen but I live with a man and you're probably asking yourself a girl why the heck are you decorating everything pink when you live with a man and the answer is this man loves me so much he one encouraged me to do this and two helped me find everything so he is 100% on board with making me happy and he's okay with it so if your man doesn't let you decorate your room pink he doesn't love you I do have some of that pink ribbon on my hair right now because I love it so much it looks a little bit crusty but it's okay here is today's OOTD we have everything airy on today the top the bottom and then the bodysuit that's underneath. It's honestly super comfortable. It's my first time wearing it. I got it for the Black Friday sale and honestly, I'm kind of sad I didn't get any more colors because it looks good and it feels even better. It's so soft. I just need to put on some shoes. Also, Alexa, what time is it? It's 8.39 p.m. Almost 9 p.m. and we're barely starting this decorating vlog because why not? Let's decorate through the night. Stop number one at Ross and let's hope it's the only stop because it's already 9 p.m. and we're trying to finish this room transformation before midnight. Look at my baby. Okay, here are the sheets. I like this one. It has like little trees in different shapes, but then there's also one right there. That's snowflake. This one or this one. These are actually both really cute. I really like these. <gasps> this blue one is so pretty. It doesn't go with the baby. It doesn't go with the theme though. They have a couple different pink ones there. Right here. Ooh, this is kind of like a plaid. Not really though. Steve Madden, Carl something. Soho loft. Oh my gosh, this. Oh, it's a Kelky. No. I found this one that has like really cute roses, but it's in a cow king and I'm like obsessed with this one. I'm so sad. This one's so pretty. The closest one to that is this one, but it's not as pretty. No, they don't have it. <gasps> okay, I'm settling for this one with the trees. I actually really like it because it has like not too many trees and it's white. Obviously, I have to continue looking at Ross for other things and I found these little pans. I'm going to get them because mine are honestly super crusty. These ones are a better color and I want to do treats this vlog this season. So we're taking these and Ricardo's taking some underwears. I wanted to take this tray too, but like, is it doing too much? What you guys doing? Is Bailey picking a toy? She already has the Christmas one at home. I haven't given her yet. Ooh, should we get Bailey a new outfit? Ooh, this one's so cute. I brought Chica on some treats in here. So when she's good, I'll give her some. Chicken come sit. Good girl. Okay. I'm getting kind of hungry. What are we gonna eat, baby? I thought I was gonna make chili rellenos at home. I know, but I'm hungry now. Well, I show what I have, like my little haul, everything I have. Ricardo's gonna cook chili rellenos for us because so long. Got the goods. Ricardo and I are craving some boba, so we're gonna try to find a new boba location. We always go to It's Boba Time, and it's really good. I like to get the brown sugar milk tea from there, but because we are in the Christmas spirit, we're gonna get some boba, or at least try to get some boba, because like I said, it's a new spot, and I don't even know if it's still open. It's 9.30 on a Saturday, so they might close early. Boy, this place isn't even here. It's supposed to be like right here. It's not here. We just got catfished. He wants to get a tattoo from right there. Oh. Bailey's in the car, and she's pissed. She wanted to come with us. It's a vibe. What I did got you? a cookie and cream smoothie with boba in it. I got a milk tea or a brown sugar milk tea. That's my favorite. I have a little cute couch here. That's comfy. Yeah. <laughs> what did you spill on your new sweater? Oh my god, I have nice tea. This is why we 
can't take you out. How did you spill it? I don't know. I just looked down and it was all everywhere. I have a big surprise for you guys. If you watched yesterday's vlog, you know that I was on a big mission to find the gingerbread pillows and the candy cane pillows because these videos are pre-filmed. It's been actually a couple of days since the two and this is what happened the other day. You're looking for literally so many days. Ricardo has been calling store after store. We finally found the pillows at 99 cent store. Not only did I get one candy cane pillow, not two, but three candy cane pillows. So these ones are the 99 cent store ones. I wasn't able to find them at Home Goods or Marshalls. And then I also wasn't able to find the gingerbreads, but it's okay. I am happy with just the candy canes. And now let me show you guys all of the stuff that I have to decorate my studio apartment pink theme edition. So here are all the bags. Also, I have everything decorated from Halloween slash fall still. I have those pumpkin pillows, orange throws, orange little flower leaves thing, this doggy with an orange pumpkin, and then I have pumpkin back there. The restroom has a lot of orange things as well. Okay, in no particular order, here are all the things that I have that are pink themed for my apartment. And Bailey is coming to check a bag. Woman, it's not your toy. Actually, can you bring it? And I'll pretend like it's in one of the bags. Put it in one of the bags. I'm gonna be playing with her. And she's a good girl. Carter just put her toy in one of the bags because she just loves looking into bags and seeing if we bought her a toy and I actually was saving this toy for her because it's a Christmas one. Okay, give me that bag. I'll start with that one. All right, here is the first bag. <gasps> you got a toy! You got a toy! She got it! Come here. It's Christmas Ooh. baby Yoda. Okay. All right, first things first, this Christmas tree that I got from, where did I get it from? Oh, 99 cent store. And I think it lights up. Next thing is this Christmas tree that I bought from Home Goods. Of course, pink and it lights up. This one is actually the one that I bought on another uh, trip that I did to Home Goods. And the light bulbs are all white because I had bought one another day and it's also pink, but the light bulbs are like different colors and I wanted to return that one. But now that I'm thinking about it, I might use one of them for my bedroom and then one of them for the bathroom slash vanity we will see but i have two of these got another home goods bag <gasps> oh i forgot about this okay this is this gingerbread hand soap dispenser it's the gingerbread house and then it has a gingerbread in the front this is so cute i can't wait to use this actually i might use this for the kitchen i think i'm gonna use this for my kitchen sink because for the bathroom i already have a hand soap that is pink from bath and body Works. from home goods again i have this shower curtain pink vibes gingerbread vibes it's a pink gingerbread bread theme actually I forgot to mention this everything is either gingerbread or pink or both so I'm gonna put this one in the bathroom like you guys just saw these are the sheets that I ended up going with they're this like tree pattern they're white and gray they're gonna do the trick I really really wanted those pink flannel ones but honestly I don't know where I would have been able to get them so we're settling for these these are also really cute next up ah, this is such a cute sign it says baby it's cold outside and it's the perfect pink color we will see where we figure out a spot to put this. I also started buying things for kind of like Valentine's Day, but also Christmas since I like doing pink for Valentine's Day. And then now since I'm doing a pink theme for Christmas, it'll kind of go hand in hand. But I bought this pink heart set from Ross. So there's this little, I don't know, like milk pour and then the matching teapot. Somewhere in all of these bags, I also have one of those little like things where you place the spoon that you're cooking with, so you don't just put it on the counter. I got two of these pillows for my accent chairs. I didn't want to get pink. I thought it was gonna kind of overpower a lot. This one is kind of like that same tree pattern that my sheets are, and then it has snowflakes as well. This one's like more of a neutral vibe, but yeah, we got two of these. Next up, my bed throw. This one I am so, so obsessed with. It's snowflakes, it's the perfect pink, and it's pretty much a throw for this part of the bed. Oh, it's gonna look so good. I'm so excited to put everything together. I've never had a pink everything room. Even when I used to live by myself, I never did a pink everything room, so I'm so excited to do it now. And now I have a bigger room with really good lighting, and I have a little bit of a better budget than when I lived at my parents' house, so. From Marshalls, I got some really, really nice things. Starting off with this Maruchan bowl. It's not Christmas thing, but I actually think it's so cute. It's literally exactly like the Maruchan cup, but it's in a bowl. It's like a bowl with chopsticks. Next up, I have these little bowls. 
These are actually, I think, for the oven or to like be. Yeah, they're oven safe, low torch safe set of four ramkin, whatever that means. But I think you put kind of like creme brulees and things like that that you put in the oven and then they're like cute. Or probably you can bake like little muffins or little cakes in here. But I bought them as like sauce bowls because they're pink and they're cute. These are going in my kitchen for decoration for sure. For the gingerbread theme, I obviously have to get the gingerbread salt and pepper shakers. I had to. I found them and I was like, I need to. The one thing I'm like kind of sad about is that they have red bowls and I would have loved for them to have pink bowls, but it's okay. They're cute. And last but not least, this gingerbread, what is this called? Like cutting board-ish, charcuterie board. And it brings this little spoon thingy that I'm gonna use for either peanut butter or what else? Jelly, those things. But I'm gonna put this in the kitchen. <gasps> ah, look what I found here. I knew it was gonna come up later on during the video. This is the matching little heart set to the teacup and the little milk core thing. Next up, I think we have the other Christmas tree. Oh my God, actually babe, it looks so cute as well. This one's so cute too. <gasps> Ah, this is the colorful one, and then this is a regular one. No, I like the other one better. I think I'm gonna honestly just keep both of them. Leave one in the room and the other one in the bathroom or something like that. Right before I checked out, I also found this gingerbread mug that has blue on it. And I'm not decorating with blue, but this would have been actually a really cute theme if I would have combined the blue and the pink. Like this is so cutie vibes, but this is gonna be for my teeth. And then I have another mug here. This one is snowflakes. I have no more space for any more mugs, but those were just too cute to pass on. And I also got these pink measuring cups that have like nutcrackers on the handle. And I got them for like a dollar off because they had like a little mod chip right here. But yeah, these are so cutie too. This is the last bag of things that I bought, but I also have some things that I have from last year that I'm gonna show you guys that I'm gonna reuse like my Christmas tree, some ornaments and all that. But yeah, this is the last thing that I bought this year. It's this mixing bowl that has Santa's and it's also pink and it's a set with like a spatula cookie cutters and a white whisk because I'm telling you guys this year I'm gonna be in my baking era hopefully fingers crossed I don't forget about all of these things and like I just bought them for nothing but if anything the aesthetic is gonna be bomb like AF yeah this is the last thing if you watch last year's vlogmas you know that I bought this Christmas tree from Ikea I was so excited to go buy it like literally when I was at Ikea I thought I hadn't found it but then I found it and I was like yeah it's like I found it da -da -da. when I put it up and showed you guys everybody was coming at me and calling it like the Charlie Brown tree saying that it was ugly and all that stuff but it was just like that was the vibe I was going for I was going for small not a lot of leaves just a minimal tree like it's kind of dying low-key it looks like it's kind of dying but that's the vibe I was going for and I loved it so I kept it and we're reusing it this year because I still in that vibe but this year I have a pot that I have my olive tree in and I think I'm gonna put it in there it is gonna elevate the look a little bit more than it did last year so we're gonna see but I have that and here is the box with everything. I have these cranberries that I got from last year that I know I'm gonna use. I know it's not pink, but it's still gonna fit the vibe. It's okay. And I know exactly where I'm gonna put that. It's gonna be right there. I have some other kind of wonky trees from last year. This tree, whatever the heck this is. Some acorns and ah, oh, this cute white rug. I forgot about this one, but it's so cute. It's gonna go with the vibe actually, cause it's white. And then I have a lot of ornaments in here that I don't know if I'm gonna put on my Christmas tree. I might put some of the pink ones that I have but I'm doing something to my Christmas tree that you guys have to stay tuned for because I'm so excited and it has to do with something that I already have on right now that's everything that we're working with we're gonna have the cutest pink gingerbread wonderland in here ah I'm so excited to get started so Cardo is going to be making dinner for us while I start decorating but first we need to play some Christmas jammies Alexa play Christmas music here's a station you might like holiday favorites on Amazon music ah oh, this song is perfect all right let's get started if you're really there In honor of our gingerbread theme I bought these gingerbread slippers That I actually had about two or three years ago For one of my Christmas intros And I called them the gingies So they're back They're a little bit different But they're still gingerbread These are the iconic gingies So of course we're gonna put them on for this video Because um Gingerbread theme Okay Ugh. They do fit me a little bit small though <laughs> Okay <laughs> Gingies so cute. All right, let's put on the fitted sheet on the bed. I'm gonna need you to move, ma'am. Save me from the tears. One pillow down. Two pillows. Ah! I'm not 
not gonna lie, I loved this when I first put it for the fall time, but I'm sick and tired of seeing this orange thing, and I can't wait to replace it with this one. Oh, I just need something different. Yes! So cute. Here is this garland thing that I have from last year, and I was gonna put it above my bed, but I'm gonna try to fit it on top of this mirror and around it, see how it looks. Otherwise, I'll just put it on top of my bed, but I feel like it would look cute here. How the heck am I gonna make it stay? It was a, such a freaking nightmare to put this little garden around here, but it actually paid off. It looks so good, and I have one bowl on here with this pink ribbon, and I'm just pretty much gonna put bowls all around it. I'm gonna try to put like three or four more, and it's gonna bring out the pink. So freaking cute. I love them. They give it such a nice touch, and they look so much more girly now. If you can't tell by now, that's what I meant when I said that I was gonna do something to my tree and that I had something on that was like that, and it was the bows. I wanna add all of these little bows to my Christmas tree as well, and then add a couple of ornaments. Ricardo's almost done cooking up our food, so I'm gonna go check in with him, and we're gonna have a little break to eat, and then we'll resume afterwards, because a lot of the stuff we have left, anyways, our stuff for the kitchen. I have them right here. We have the mugs, hand soap, baking dishes, measuring cups, and all of that. It's starting to smell so bomb, so let's go see. Mm -mm -mm. Is the food ready, baby? Almost done. Ooh, sheesh. That looks so bomb, bro. We got chiles rellenos with some white rice and some shrimp. Bailey is ready for her tortillas. Look at her. You want a tortilla chicken? Yeah, yeah, she's ready for her tortilla. This is how the bedroom looks whenever we eat. So far, the room is looking really, really good. I've been playing around with possible combinations. So I put the baby, it's cold outside sign on top of the bed. I think it's gonna stay there. I'm not sure because we might knock it off when we're sleeping or something, but I, put, I can put tape, but I can put tape under it. For now, dinner break, and then we'll resume in a little bit. She's too cozy. She's too cozy. Chicken is over our shit because it's literally 1 a.m. and we're still not done. But we're moving on to the bathroom because I'm over doing the room right now and pretty much last thing we have to do in the bedroom anyways is the Christmas tree but I am starting to get super sleepy so <sighs> it is crack lack in time we need to get our shit together while we're gonna put up our new shower curtain I'm gonna do our vanity I went to Bath and Body Works the other day and I bought a whole bunch of new winter scents starting off with this champagne toast hand wash that has a nutcracker and it's pink so we're gonna be using this for Christmas time I also was finally able to find my champagne toast shimmer mist this thing right here is literally so amazing because you can spray it on yourself and then your hand or wherever you spray it on gets so shimmery kind of looks bad on camera but like in real life and with the sunlight it looks so good and i've been looking for this for like over a year and i finally found it dang that was fast as fuck baby baby why is your shirt for all a lint bro you need a lint roller my guy This actually looks so good. How do you put it in? Just put it in the hole. I can't do it. That looks amazing. It does look Cute. Oh my gosh, I'm obsessed. It looks bomb. Okay. Okay, we're gonna put this stand and then the Christmas tree on top. Get rid of my curling iron. All right, we're done. We have the shark curtain, the tree here, and then this other, the pink hand soap. It looks bomb.com. Last but not least, we're gonna do my Christmas tree. We're gonna leave the kitchen for tomorrow because I still need to wash the dishes and do all that stuff. So we're, tomorrow we're gonna tackle on all of the Christmas decor for the kitchen. But we're gonna end off with my Christmas tree, which, like I said, Charlie Brown. All we're gonna do are the ribbons. So let's go to my bedroom. It's the next day. Last night, I knocked out like at 4 a.m. So I didn't finish decorating the tree. So we're finishing up this today before we start our next Vlogmas vlog that we're gonna film for Edith and Ricardo. It's a super exciting one. We're adding a new member to the Cuevas family. So you guys have to stick around to see that on tomorrow's vlog probably. But I actually love, 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 love the Christmas tree. It's Charlie Brown, but it just it fits the vibe so good. Look at this. Tell me this isn't the cutest tree you've seen out here. Hopefully it doesn't fall. I've got skill. There is literally a 
a yard left. I think I'm gonna relight the tree up because we like a little like kind of like how the viral Home Depot Christmas tree has been going viral because of those lights. If this tree had them, it would look so bomb. So I'm gonna have to buy those. I'm adding the bows again like yesterday. Honestly, I woke up this morning and I am even more obsessed with those bows that I added to the wreath on my desk. So I'm so excited to see how it's gonna look on the tree. I don't want to overdo it though. So I think I'm just gonna do like very sporadically, especially because there's barely any branches on here. Baby, that tree is like this. We're gonna do some pink ornaments. I don't have that many, but I'm gonna try to fix them in like best spots. Every year we buy a new ornament. Well, since we got married, we've been buying a new ornament for like something special. This year we wanted to buy one with a weight, but we still haven't bought it. We have to keep looking for that and we'll add it uh, whenever we find it. But our first year when we got married, we got this one that says Mr. and Mrs. We got married in 2021. Then the next year we got Bailey. So we got this one for her. And then last year we got this one. It was the year that we got super close with Erica Nadan and we got close through a Din Tai Fung day and we honestly even to this day always be eating Din Tai Fung. So this was special for last year. And then this year we wanted to add that weight because this year we went to the gym all year long and it was our first year of like our fitness journey I guess you could say. Being committed to it. So we're gonna put these up and whenever we find that weight or something significant to like fitness to gym or something like that we'll add it. But these are the three we're adding for now. Alright the Christmas tree is pretty much done. And all that's missing is the star. I have this star from last year. Let's see if it fits it. You want to do the honors together, baby? Yes, baby. It's not going to stick on that big ass alfalfa. We had to cut it like... Is that why it was crooked? Yes, it was like this. <laughs> hey, oh my god, what in the wonky star is this? Look! That's perfect! <laughs> that's the Grinch tree. <laughs> Tree's done! <laughs> Honestly, aside from that star, everything else I think look, it looks bomb. And if you don't like it, I mean, you can comment it, but I don't care because I am obsessed with my Charlie Brown tree. Doing the best. We actually slept so comfortable last night, huh, babe? It was honestly the best sheets we've gotten. Bed complete. <laughs> into a gingerbread pink wonderland. I also didn't mention at the beginning of this clip, but yes, I'm still wearing the same clothes from yesterday and I still haven't changed. I'm about to change for my next vlogmas video. That is it for today's video. I love you guys so much and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye!